Finally, I spoke to Anne Marie Bola. Uh, she lives in Jacksonville, uh, but was born in Trinidad uh, and came to Florida via New York City. Uh, she's been here in Florida for 20 years. She's a caterer and specializes in uh, food from her homeland of Trinidad. Well, I started cooking at age seven mm -hmm. from my mom okay. because I was always curious and always did it mm. as fun because in the Caribbean, uh, which is the cuisine we are offering, mm -hmm. uh, it's always about food and everybody getting together and having a good time. And I really, really love that because she gave me all the history behind the food. Mm -hmm. So out of all the girls in the family and brothers, I love it. Mm -hmm. So after several years of working in the corporate world, mm -hmm. I decided to leave that and go to school. I just didn't want to be a cook. Mm -hmm. I wanted more than that. I wanted to be a chef. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to get more of it. And um, I did that. So where'd you go to school? I did uh, two year, a two-year program in Florida, okay. and then I did all my advanced training. I did two years also in Switzerland, Europe. Oh, so where in Florida did you go first? Uh, first Coast Technical Institute in St. Augustine, Florida. Okay. Yes. And then you went to Switzerland? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it was because it's something, to me, it really gave me what I was looking for. Because when I try to explain to people the whole aspect of this food, idea with me it's not about just preparing food mm. it's the whole the history the comfort the healing process of the food and this is why I do these festivals because mm. the energy of the people I can talk to you and it's unusual to be in a festival you know area and you get healthy food yeah because I use only sea salt extra virgin olive oil mm. I H2O no wines no preservatives Fresh, lots of fresh herbs, mm -hmm. cilantro and lime leaves and citrus mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be only fry because we're in a festival. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know? absolutely. And then to me you would get more people to come because they have so much of a variety mm -hmm. because a lot of people would be like, well I really want to go but there's nothing to eat. Mm -hmm. And I've been hearing that a lot from some of the performers. So I started structuring my menu more and more and more to suit the feedback I get. Yes. And you know, it's just where it is today. Okay. I've been uh, participating here for the past 13 years. Wow. Even when I was away, I fly back, I come back. Okay. Because I really love this. Yeah. This is something that's very dear to my heart. Yeah, what is it special about the Florida Folk Festival in particular? The Florida Folk Festival is not just music and dance, it's about family. It's about friendship. It's about building re uh, relationships to me. Because year after year, you see these people, you haven't seen them for a whole year, mm -hmm. and then we all come together, and I miss you, and I was wondering if you were gonna be here, and I was thinking about the food, and I thought about this, and mm -hmm. we all you know, get together like if it was yesterday. Okay. So this is what I see, and we don't have a lot of this with a family you know, atmosphere. My grandnieces and nephews mm. grew up and they, you know, just being free. And mm. I feel confident and safe that they're in a safe environment. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, like now, have you been in the restaurant business at all or is this just a catering operation? Or? Yes. Okay. Because this is what I wanted to explain. A lot of people ask me also, what about a restaurant? Mm. And I always come back, if I'm in a restaurant, I would not be able to do this. Mm. And this is not what I want. My thing is about teaching, talking to the people, talking mm. about the history of the food, you know, and this is what I do. Like today, I have my signature dish mm. is the curry goat. Okay. Right? It's the lean, it's very lean cuts of meat. It's mm. on the bone, mm -hmm. right? And what I do is I curry it in spices, curry spices that I mix with lots of herbs, right? Clean, clean taste, mm. right? And then I serve that on rice. And it could be, it's a brown rice, but it could be just rice with different herbs and spices. I don't do beans and rice because that's like a triple carb situation. Okay, I'm yeah. very conscious of what my client, you know, looking for. Yeah. So I just do that rice. I saw, you know, and I do all types of vegetables. Like yeah. I just finished doing a pumpkin. And the guys over from the state of Florida just they just advertising some Seminole pumpkin to the to the uh, group mm -hmm. and they asked me if I can do something with it and I said absolutely because 
we've been in that, you know, they have lemongrass. I said, I can use it. Okay. I can, you know. So I have pumpkin. Then the second one we have in a meal, we have a fish meal, which is a bassa fish, mm. a white fish. Mm -hmm. And I broil that with citrus. I have limes picked from my backyard and oranges. Mm -hmm. And I just broil that with a little bit of sea salt okay. and some olive oil. And at the end, when I serve it, I serve it with a cilantro, lime, uh, uh, chutney. Wonderful. Right. Uh, then the next thing I have is a lentil cutlet. And these are all handmade. Okay. I made it as my recipe. The lentil cutlets, it's made with the lentil. Of course, you know, it's so high in protein. Mm -hmm. And also sunflower seed. Right, lots of spices and herbs, cumin, roasted cumin, mm -hmm. but it's a little bit of sea salt. That's it, okay. Okay, and it's really nice. That I looks put wonderful. It, and I put it on this grill, and again, you see, like I use extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, see, once again, you're using a griddle, you're not deep frying, right? Yes, so and that's what I try to explain to people no deep fry. Yes, don't ask me for deep fried food. I'm, you okay. know, I'm not going there. Okay, so this is what I do. So, this is the lentil cutlets, and this is served also with vegetables mm -hmm. okay? okay and in addition to that with the lentil cutlets i make a fresh pineapple apple chutney mm. right so a little bit of spice again okay and they just love this okay the island drinks that i have it's the ginger beer mm -hmm. and the reason why it says ginger beer it's not really a beer mm -hmm. but ginger has the tendency to ferment yeah. the longer it stands mm -hmm. but the reason why i love to present it when you're in an atmosphere like this and you're eating all the different foods ginger is very good on the digestive tract mm -hmm. it helps you from being upset it helps you to settle the stomach mm -hmm. and that is wonderful mm -hmm. then so it's fresh root ginger beer mm -hmm. that we you know we seep and make this wonderful drink with a small amount of brown sugar. We have one that's called sorrel. It's not the seasoning sorrel. It's mm -hmm. a sorrel, a plant which is in the family of the hibiscus flower. Mm -hmm. So it's a beautiful red drink, beautiful drink, uh, but it's very high in calcium. Okay. So these are the things, these are the two drinks that we're offering. Okay. I also have something for some of my clients who really, really know the food. It's called roti. Oh, yes. And roti is a flat seasoned bread like a tortilla, yes. but it's not as tough as a tortilla. It's very soft and you So know. you do have roti here today? Yes. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. And it's only for like, like again, it may not sound right, but some people really know roti and oh, they yeah. want the roti. So yeah. I don't have it advertised on the board, but I do have. Oh, okay. Yes. So why don't you advertise? You just don't have enough? Or? Well, that's it. And okay. also, um, it's a long, really, it's a really long explanation. And I we've done it in the past. Yeah. And a lot of people, because they're looking at the bread, con you know, oh, I don't want to go bread, it's carbohydrates. And I just try to explain to people, the only thing that do not have carbohydrates, it's meat. Yeah. Everything else has carbohydrates yeah. in it. You know? Well, you can hold it. So I thought yes. at a festival, people mm -hmm. might uh, see that and go, oh, what's that? Roti. Also, yes, I keep in mind also, because my neighbor over there, they do the gyro, mm -hmm. or gyro as they say it. Mm -hmm. And across there, my neighbor, they're doing the burrito wrap. Yeah. I'm conscious of that, okay. so I don't want to compete with my neighbor. Well, I hope you enjoyed these snippets from the Florida Folk Festival. On behalf of the Florida Study Center and the Oral History Program, uh, this is Andrew Hughes signing off.